on a beautiful day, 77 degrees. It is breezy. Nothing like the, quote, insane conditions, to use Federer's word, the last time they met at the semifinals of Roland Garros. But it is a breeze that will come from the far end and the near end, and we saw it affect a little bit the flight of the balls in the first semifinal. touch it earned the point that all came sprinting and played it beautifully well, here he comes and that is exactly what that One was zero. great volley just catches the outside of the line big return sets up the forehand winner Shot that helped turn around this head to head rivalry. Four, well, not cleanly struck there. Short ball and allows Federer to zone in on that forehand. The entire set until that. That's well done. You may see him serve and volley again, take that serve out wide. Fighting from behind twice in the tie break to continue his head to head dominance. Some of the breakers. That is an incredible shot. We witness it close hand from our vantage point. And the way you talked about it, I've heard the right, you know, being a righty, the way he used that right hand there to flick that. It's just. Making him play right now if he can. Wow, oh, and now stretching and pulling Federer at net, and finally has his first opportunity to break. Federer hit the perfect serve, he hit a pretty darn good volley. Full stretch is Nadal. Well, Look at this. Easy. He covers the court in a hurry, and then he can't believe he's got this chance now. It's good as 37. Did someone say that? Well, the game is back. Started with a serve. He served really well. First couple of service games with the third. Now the ground starts returning as well. And that was the second shot off the return. He'd hit a big forehand and then he cracks that back in up the line. Beautifully done. Flicks the winner. Break opportunity as Federer searching for his first break this afternoon. Well, this is Federer again, just oh, shrugging oh, off a abysmal set. And all of a sudden, you're going, there's Roger Federer. And all of a sudden, he could, well, we were in a similar position in the second. He had an opportunity early to get the break. Not a good volley, but he got away. Oh, did he? Now it's Federer oh, with the final answer. And a cat and mouse point breaks for the first time. The Donald's volleying skills so much better than they were when they last played, but he choked there. He played a tight volley and kept Federer in the point. Many Fed fans on their feet inside center court. Renewed belief. Federer leads by three games to one. That's the shot he should have done more with. Should have put that away, too. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
point by Federer to scramble to stay in it early. And eventually gets the error, break point saved. Oh, it's an amazing mental effort, too, because the win was starting to wreak a little havoc with some of those shots. He really hung tough as he had to. Nadal wanted that break back badly. Scooped up a deep shot off the shoelaces early in the point. Talk about improvising. Thank you. You don't practice those shots. Should be pumped up better there. What an effort he's made to get out of this hole. Like this. Full run. Mr. Wait, he's wait a minute. On what? The service line. what was the ball's called in? It was what? Why did he challenge? It was called in. He he challenged it and that he made it. the return and the dog missed his shot. That was, wow. That was a advantage unusual, shall we say? A, yeah, that, was a, that was a serious oops. That sure was. Yes. He challenged just at the moment the dog was playing that ball. <laughs> the forehand and some beautiful touch at a place he hasn't been very often net. And finally, 
Alex Federer through to the final. It took five match points to put away his rival in this sequel that delivered its best drama right at the end. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports, highlights, and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.